Hello guys, welcome back. This is gonna be the second match of the best out of three that I started last night. I had some troubles with the video last night. It was easy to upload, but then YouTube took hours and hours to process it. I wasn't even sure if I made the video properly for some reason, but uh, never mind, the video is fine. It was just YouTube messing with me, I guess. So um, moving on and talking about this second match. This is another face-off between here, Liquid Rat, the Blue Zerg. Rat is a Dutch player, like I already mentioned, an old Brudor veteran, and is facing against the Red Protoss, Kiwikaki member of Root Gaming Team, a very good Protoss player, he's a Canadian, plays on the North American servers, and um, I like his style because he tends to be very aggressive on his play, and I like that. So um, I'm going to spoil the results now for you guys, so whoever didn't watch the first match, please do so, go take a look at my channel, the first match is there, because Rat is leading 1-0, and if he takes this game, well, it's basically bye-bye Kiwikaki, Kiwikaki just can say bye-bye to Dallas and he needs to win to take this victory here and as you guys know the rules state that whoever loses the match will be allowed to pick the map for the following match and that's what Kiwikaki did and as you guys can see he picked Steps of War which is a kind of an annoying map for, uh, for Zerg players let me try to explain why uh, well basically it's kinda hard to fast expand here especially if your opponent is aware that you might try that and go for an early push uh, if you just commit your minerals there to the early hatchery and then you don't have anything to defend it because you just burned on your min minerals, well, it's kind of complicated then and the game might end up really, really fast and it's not going to be on your favor. And I think that Rat is aware of that, so instead of going for the early hatch, he goes for the extractor and the spawning pool and he's probably going to gather, gather up the, the gas, the Vespin gas, so when the spawning pool is finished he can get the zergling speed. I think that's his plan at the moment and, well, it's a more of a conservative play but might guarantee him that he's going to have a mid and late game and he's going to be able to have a fair chance of winning this here. So for now just battling on the on that uh, um, expo there, on that natural expo, shoving away that probe, the drone still not committed to get the hatchery, uh, Rat is just delaying it and meanwhile on Kiwikaki's side he got one gateway into a second gateway and the cybernetic score so I'm not sure if he's gonna go for some kind of two gate push maybe checking if Rat is aware or is ready to defend maybe try catching Rat by surprise I don't think it's gonna be the case because Rat has been playing defensively for quite a while now Kiwikaki making sure that he's gonna notice when Rat is gonna pick up his hatchery and here he comes picking up his hatchery on the natural expo a lot later than normal you see on other maps there it is on at 22 supply I think if I'm not mistaken and he took his time to make two zerglings so one of the zerglings is already following this probe making sure that the probe won't get any proxy pylons somewhere to just surprise him later on in the game and Kiwikaki meanwhile getting his two stalkers out and these stal two stalkers are gonna head into a, a rat's base and check if he has any defenses which he does pretty good for rat he played well I think it was the correct decision and he's getting his zergling speed pretty soon and the zerglings with zergling speed are fast enough to surround those stalkers so they will be fairly effective against stalkers oh and that probe is trying to place a pylon was successful but got killed so I'm not sure if Kiwikaki is going to be able to pull ahead. I think he's trying to shove all the units with the two stalkers so he can allow the pylon to get built. But now he doesn't have a probe to get any photon cannons here on the back and just to make a wall off against the Red. Would be really annoying for Red because he almost has his hatchery finished. So I think it was a nice move there. He was able to kill that probe. A second probe getting in from uh, Kiwikaki. I think Kiwikaki is still committed to try that cannon rush. But all these Zerglings now with Zergling speed will be able to kill all these units really fast there he goes second probe dead and red pulling back with his units he doesn't want anything to do with those two stalkers and he's going to finish off this file and making sure that um, kiwikaki won't be able to place any photon cannons or even warp units in on, on that location would be just way too close now red appears to be countering back i think he's just going to check the door see if it's open or not and it's completely locked with these two gateways small battle ensues on the natural expo and pulling back. Meanwhile, Kiwikaki made the sentry and the zealot to reinforce his army, and I guess that things are basically stable at the moment. Appears that Red mustered up plenty of zerglings. He made a lot of zerglings early on in the game. Look at the amount here. Not sure exactly what his plan is with it, but at least for a containment effect, well, it might work because 
Kiwi Kaku will have to be aware of all these Zerglings here to make sure he's gonna expand into his uh, natural expo as well. Meanwhile, it seems like that Red is already getting the second layer of tech, he's going for his lair, and uh, his uh, natural expo is working just fine, so econ-wise, he is already leading the way, he is ahead by a little bit. Harvester count still fairly similar, only two harvesters ahead, but it shows on the income the fact that he's working out of two bases. And now getting the Roach Warren built on his natural expo instead of his main base, this is interesting. Another thing that we need to check later on is that um, seems like that rat going for the lair tech is going to have some options to make pretty soon. Will he be going some hydralisks or maybe mutalisks and just fly around and gain map control? Not sure yet, but I guess we're going to see it pretty soon. Meanwhile, already taking care of the destructible rocks and getting some static defenses on his natural expo, while uh, you know, Kiwikaki is placing his nexus on his natural expo as well. Does rat is he aware that this expo is getting picked up? No, not yet. Still doesn't know about it. So um, I think that for now is just balancing the game. Kiwikaki will be ba will be able to balance the game econ, econ wise um, by having that move done and still Red going for the third base, second expo, preparing it, while Kiwikaki is getting hallucination researched. Um, well, maybe some hallucinated phoenixes might be useful for the mid and late game for scouting purposes. Uh, usually they can also be used as a front line when you attack, so that you can divert some shots into them, but I don't think that's the purpose at the moment. I think Kiwikaki will just get hallucination ready to get some scouting going on. Uh, also, I think that now Red knows that that expo is there, this overlord just advanced there. Yeah, he spotted it, he knows what's going on, and now he's gonna pick up his third base and like this, keep ahead on the Econ game, not allowing Kiwikaki to gain any dominant position. Also, he's getting, as you can see here, pneumatized carapace and the glial reconstitution for his roaches. So, pretty good move, getting a lot of gas right now, picking up all the extractors. So, I think that pretty soon you're going to see Red transitioning into some kind of different unit composition. He already has some roaches to back up those zerglings, so uh, he's mustering up his army. And here comes, seems like we're going to have a push into Kiwikaki's base, I would say, for now just staying in the middle of the map, and this queen has been spreading the creep so, so well. Look at how far the creep has been going. Look at how far this queen is going to place that creep tumor there. And now, those hallucinated phoenixes finally coming out. This one went straight into the third base and spotted that this base is getting built there. And there's a second one, flew over this uh, natural expo, now hanging here, spotted everything, I'm pretty sure, let me look. Yeah, spotted all the buildings there, so he knows what's going on. The other hallucinated Phoenix is just here trying to harass but not much of a result. Um, already an evil chamber going down there. Also the Roach Warren is there. What else is getting built on the main base? There it is. Hydralisk then once again for Rat. Rat knows that the Hydralisk then is effective. Uh, or sacrificial Overlord flying over that um, that expo and the main base to take a look at what kind of buildings Kiwikaki is building. And did Red saw that that robotics facility has been built? Let me look. No, he didn't. He doesn't know about the robotics facility. So maybe some immortals or some colossi play might help because it seems that uh, Red is transitioning to some hydralisks. Hydralisks are fairly squishy, only 8 HP. So with like two or three uh, colossi, you can just melt through that, those hydralisk lines. Hopefully Rat will have several roaches and zerglings on the front line, backing them up with the hydralisks on the back to DPS, and like that he might be able to muster up his defenses and be, make up a proper army, a nice composition on his army. Already getting the spine grooves, the, the range, increased range for the hydralisks, and also getting the zerg missile attack, and here he comes, big confrontation at the entrance of the natural expo from Rat. Lots of force fields going down. Nice move there by Kiwikaki. And now, oh, containing all of those roaches and hydralisks into a wall of force fields. This is going to be a slaughterhouse. All of those stalkers shooting them down, putting them slowly down. And now seems like that threat. Hey, he's building a lot more hydralisks, so a lot of reinforcements incoming pretty soon. And all those hydralisks were able to fend off the assault from Kiwikaki. Kiwikaki waiting for those zealots to actually stand on the front line and slice and dice the hydralisks. Nice micro here by Red, pulling them all back. 
making sure he's waiting for the reinforcements. A force field containing that hydralisk there, but the rest of them are still at loose and shooting what's left of Kiwikaki's forces. And Kiwikaki is not committed to this assault. He's waiting for reinforcements. Here they come, four more stalkers advancing. Meanwhile, giving time for uh, Red to reinforce once again, more roaches, more hydralisks. Very powerful army here on Red's side. A lot of hydralisks against these gateway units is effective. Let's take a look at their upgrades. One one on the upgrades already with the range upgrade as well. And it appears that Red is preparing a nice push while Kiwikaki was taking advantage of that move there. I think he was taking advantage of that push with the Stalkers to place his third base there, as you guys can see. But it appears that uh, Red is advancing into the Natural Expo from Kiwikaki, and this is, doesn't look good. Ooh, this uh, robotics facility is so unprotected here. And look at Red focusing fire. Boom! Oh, this Immortal was still able to uh, get out on the last second, got instantly killed, and now the forces from Red applying the pressure on the Natural Expo. Kiwikaki pulling all of his probes out of the line, trying to defend. This is getting very complicated for Kiwikaki. He's trying to grab hold of his Natural Expo, but doesn't seem he's going to be very successful. Basically, what's happening here is that uh, he still didn't have his third base established, and the second base just got completely destroyed with a lot of units, as you guys can see, a lot of blue dots advancing from red, so he's gonna keep applying the pressure, sending more hydralis and more roaches into the fray. It appears that now red is gonna transition once again in making a lot of roaches, 11 roaches getting produced, so he's gonna mess up into a more resistant army and just let loose all the roaches on the natural expo from Kiwikaki. And Kiwikaki getting slowly pushed back, he's already defending from the high ground on his main base, while uh, red is just dominating his natural expo and there's basically nothing going on here. I'm pretty sure that at the moment his income must be pretty short. Yes, it is. Big blow on his income. And now a big wave of roaches advanced into this uh, natural expo and Kiwikaki just noticed that it was useless. He couldn't do anything. He wasn't able to build anything on this one. It was just completely contained. And that big mass bulk of roaches that just advanced, I f I'm obviously sure that he spotted it and saw that he didn't have enough fort uh, fortress to defend it. So there it is. Even this uh, third base that he was picking up wasn't fast enough. And well, he didn't took any benefit from it. I he just lost the minerals there, I guess. Okay, I hope you guys this, uh, enjoy this match. As you saw, Red took the win. So 2-0 for Red. And bye-bye Kiwikaki eliminated from uh, MLG Dallas. See you all later. Have fun.